Hello. So this is um, for National Native American Heritage Month. I have up some facts and figures. Yay. Okay. So let's see about making this bigger. So you can see it while I'm talking. There we go. So, facts and figures. Population. In 2013, 3.9 million, or 1.2 of the pop total population, um, 5.3 million, two or more races, or 1.6 of the total population. By 2060, it is projected for 6.3 million, or 1.5 of the total population. Uh, and 11.2 million or two or more races or 2.7 of the total population. So the most top um, populous tribes, let's see, let's see they have like which area is the most populated. Um, you've got New York, Michigan, Minnesota, Washington, Oregon, California, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Texas, Oklahoma, North Carolina, Florida, And it's got some of the uh, most populous tribes down here. So this shows where do they live. They are in 14 states with more than 100,000 American Indian and Alaska Native residents, um, including people of two or more races as of 2013. So we've got the most populous um, tribes with people of two or more races, including people of two or more races. We've got Cherokee. Um, at 1,110,383 Navajo um, Chequata Sioux I'm sorry if I get any of these wrong um, Chippewa Blackfeet Ameri Mexican American Indian Apache and Rock twice. Um, information there. The median ages for American Indians was 32.5. Latinos was 28.1. Blacks were 33.3. Asian Americans was 36.3. Whites was 42.9. And the total, po total population for median age was 37.6. The number of federally recognized Indian tribes is 566. The number of federally recognized Indian reserves was 326. So Native American Munch, you know, this is for going on. Um, so this seems to be more, let's see, we have prominent American Indians. Um, some famous prominent ones we have. So Adam Beach, Gary Batten, Bill John Baker, Sherman Alex. Alexi, um, Ben Nighthorse Campbell. Oh, that one was a former U.S. Senator. See, I didn't even know that one. Brian Kladuski, Louis Idrich, Graham Green, um, Kathy Hoppinkinska, Hannah, National, um, Managing Partner, Diversity and Corporate Responsibility. Uh, John Harrington, former astronaut. So we got the median household income for American Indians was 36,641. Uh, for Blacks, it was 34,815. Latinos was 41,508. Whites was 57,684. Uh, Asians was 72,472. Medium, like a household, median household income was 52,250. Um, um, education, we have American Indians. Let's see, a percentage of the population 25 and older with at least a high school degree. American Indians was 82.2. Blacks was 85.9. Latinos were 66.2, Asians were 90.2, and whites were 92.9.
and then percentage of populations 25 and older with at least a bachelor degree. American Indians was 15.4, Blacks were 22, Latinos were 15.1, Asians were 53.9, and Whites were 35.2. Uh, projected increase in college enrollment, um, American Indians were actually only at 0.5%. Uh, blacks actually in this area went up to 23.5. Latinos went up to 28.4. Asians were down to 6.1 and whites were down to 5.4 in this area. So they have buying power um, of each thing. Uh, the American Indians was 11, 100 billion. Blacks won 1.1 trillion. Latinos, 1.3 trillion, and Asians, 770 billion. Uh, this one didn't seem to have whites in the buying power. Same with projected change in buying power from 2014 to 2019. But anyway, that's all I really have for this. I just thought that'd be interesting to bring in some interesting facts um, into this month. Um, I'm going to be doing some other things too as well as going over some important people and stuff like that. So thanks for watching.